Sometimes I have to remind myself that when I want to start a project that I feel like is a big thing, wow, that's reflective. That when I want to start a big project, I have to remember my whole wall idea, right? If you have to build a wall, you cannot think about the wall because the wall is big. You just have to think to yourself, lay one brick, one brick at a time. And before you know it, you'll have a wall. And in today's run and gun video, we have the first brick to the wall of the whole TP-Link Omada system. This is a business solution or a prosumer solution that is cheaper than Unify and supposedly pretty good. They sent this over. I wanted to check it out. Super excited, but I know it's like so much, you know, you got the router, the access points, everything to get this all set up and really test it out and give my thoughts on it. But today I'm saying screw that. Instead, let's open it up and let's run through like a basic setup just to see how everything works and get just the initial router set up. But let's take it out of the box. Let's see what it looks like. Now this whole system is going to be weird, right? Because you got like Unify stuff, which is rack mountable. It's like the full size of a rack, but you know, this is just like not. I am pretty sure that there's stuff that you can buy to put it into a rack, however. I actually have no idea, I'm just assuming that. So first look without even looking at the box for specs, we have the WAN port, of course. And then, uh, oh, okay, so we can have up to three different WANs, so that's awesome. Or these other two can just play regular LAN ports. But the base structure is one WAN port with four LAN ports. You can reset your configuration from the front right here. That's nice. Actually imagine having like a friend that's a like techie and like you guys are like pranking each other and like, you know, you have this set up, they just come in and they just stick something in there and just like screw your settings just to mess with you. USB port, power status, system status, USB status, Omada Gigabit VPN router. This is the ER605. Flipping this thing around on the back. Looks like it only takes 12 volt at one amp. And then you can even do one of those little laptop locker thingies that, you know, kind of keeps people from stealing your stuff, which totally makes sense. But that's it. Real basic. Like, I don't even know if this thing has a fan in it or if it needs a fan. It looks like it's got some pretty cool passive cooling going on. So I, I don't know if it needs a fan, but you know, oh look, mounting stuff right there so you can like mount it on a wall. The other things in the box, of course, are going to include probably a user manual, general public license, installation guide. Obviously we don't need those. We're just gonna YOLO this because that's what I do. The most basic generic, yep, Cat 5e. Like if you are in dire need, there you go. And then of course the power supply, standard 12 volt, one amp, I would imagine. That's what it takes. That's pretty basic. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. What is this? They actually include candy. Wow, I don't know what flavor these are, but they include four different candies in it. That's pretty cool. My first step, because I already have an active network, obviously I'm not just gonna just plug this in. I mean, my whole network is up and running and doing its thing. So this is gonna take some configuration first, make sure that I get everything going, just make sure all the IPs and forwards and everything is actually set up. And then once I do all of that, I can do a test where I switch everything over to this router, which is a big ask. I mean, yeah, that's gonna take a little bit, but I have heard so much about the Omada system where it's like super intuitive and it's got a lot of the pros that Ubiquiti has or Unify has but some of the like cons don't exist. I don't remember the specifics, but I just remember they're like, man, this is really consumer friendly. Like it's small business oriented, stuff like that. Like it's an actual business solution potential thing, but it's definitely way more user friendly because it's not like Unify doesn't know, but TP-Link also knows there's a certain prosumer market that just wants these just high end gear just for the heck of it. Maybe they can actually use it, maybe they can't, maybe they just have a hobby. Some people buy cars, some people buy more cars, and other people buy network gear. I mean, you know, 
there's at least two different flavors of people out there. And yes, I am keeping this setup completely simple today. I'm not gonna go into like everything. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, TP Link, my bad. I am sure a lot of you people out there have probably went through the process of switching over to a new ecosystem or at least trying out a new ecosystem. So you probably already know the process. And there is a huge possibility that the process you use to accomplish this task is completely different and or better than what I do. Because you guys really just need to take a second and just remember that I am an idiot. I mean, before I opened this box, I thought this was a toilet paper holder. So just keep that in mind. But the way I am going to do it is I'm going to hook up the WAN port into my pre-existing network. Yes, that's going to create a double NAT, but it's going to use my mother router and assign a subnet IP to the WAN as if it was connecting to an ISP. And then normally, because remote administration through the WAN port is automatically turned off until you go in there and configure it to allow remote administration, which is also kind of a bad idea because that's allowed people to break into your VPN or your router or whatever, and they can just kind of screw with things. But normally, I would also take a LAN port and then connect that to the computer or whatever that I'm trying to use to get that initial configuration. But connecting it up to my WAN port, even though that makes it double NAT, it doesn't really matter. It still gives me the benefit of connecting online, connecting to whatever stupid accounts they make you sign up for, downloading dumb upgrades, firmwares, you know, all that crap that comes along with setting up a new piece of hardware. And the best part about all of this is that I have a crappy little switch inside my computer room next to the main computer I'm going to use to set this up. <laughs> so all I have to do is plug it into this. So it's going to be routing through a switch going to another switch that goes to my router. And then I only have to do a short run over to my main computer. Hey, hey, I'm about to, uh, what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, I'm a boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so since my desk is absolutely disgusting, go figure, uh, I cleared a spot out, put something back in the background to hide all the crap. And here we go. So this goes to my computer. This goes to a little router that I have underneath the desk, little crappy router, but hey, it works. This is the most basic setup ever. Everyone's ever done this. I mean, this, like, seriously, you plug it into the WAN, right? That's gonna go to the route, wait. So this goes into the LAN. It's going to go into the WAN. Come on, there we go. And of course, gotta plug this in. Let's see, right there. Uh oh, you can see some of the crap. Let's just like, let's move this over. Huh. Does this thing not have status lights? Like, I feel like I should have some status lights. Let's plug in it. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, got a little antsy. So there you go. All right, let's go to the setup. This is what I'm most excited about. I wanna see like, I wanna see. Let, let, let's see. First things first, I got a couple different networks here. So 10 gig, 2.5 gig, and then gig. This is all what's on my computer right now. That is actually the NordVPN like fake thing that they do every time you like turn it on it routes everything through that but this is the new one so i have to go in through here and see just what subnet i got and it won't right click and it crashed i mean come on oh okay wow okay while well, this is loading yes i use nordvpn it's amazing Go to bnbsucks.com if you want to try it out. Super big discount, helps me out, and they got a 30-day money back. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this. I swear to... Let's try this again. Uh, do, do, do. All right, so we got a zero. 1680. Uh, now that we know the subnet, that's what we needed to know. Now I just got to go into the actual page. And because I use it the least, let's use... Edge. Screw you. 192.168.0.1. Let's go. Come on. There we go. 
All right, so far I like it. I don't have to like look up a default admin and password. So let's make this username bite my bits. Password is definitely going to be small p. Uh, no, no, I don't want to be too obvious. You know, this is saying it's an admin account. So I kind of wonder if I should just change this to admin. Is that basic? Let's see if it works. It works. Login. This is it. First one. Oh. By the way, this whole thing in the background, you see all these stars and everything like on the side. This is from the new James Webb uh, telescope, made it into a desktop. It is absolutely beautiful. Moving on. The big question is, is do I go into, you know, or let's just get started. Pretty basic. I've got a dynamic IP. I'll just let it pull the IP because it's a double NAT anyways right now. So let's just go ahead and do that. That was easy. All right, uh, done. Sure, yeah, yeah, we're done. VLANs, don't care about those. V6, don't care about that. Now USB, okay, configuration, automatic manual location. Mobile ISP, personal, interesting. I think the second thing I'm gonna hook up, I think that's what they sent me, a cloud-based controller management. I wonder what kind of control that was, that's gonna give me over what I have now. Now, feel free to call me basic, but this is this is an emission of guilt, okay? This is the hardware controller OC200 from TP-Link, this part of the whole system. Uh, I have never used anything like this, right? I've, like, I know there are some devices, you know, they, re they rely on the cloud to really do management to the system, but then you can buy a separate controller that allows you to just, you know, control it locally, set up your own VPN connections, whatever but these are all just things I've never actually put my hands on. So, you know, I don't, I'm gonna hook this up and I'm gonna see if it changes the screen and see what kind of difference it makes. And there we go. Now that the sun's gone down, I gotta take a brief interlude to mow my lawn. Run, bitch! But anyway, this should be easy. Just gave it a uh, 101 IP address. So right click, go to that. Let's see exactly. Uh, let's see exactly what this does. It's unsafe. Welcome to use Omada controller. Welcome to use Omada controller. Okay, cool. BMB headquarters. Well, home. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's it. Figure that, yeah, sure, okay. Skip. To enjoy the Amada Cloud service, you can log in and bind your TP. I, I don't actually want to log in to anything. I like to just, you know, kind of see how this works off grid. Not off grid, but you know what I mean. Ah, oh, now you see this. This is the screen. I haven't even went to the screen, but look at this. You got. Oh, you've been timed out, you bastard. So this screen right here, like this looks like, you know, real basic. It's kind of like, oh, well, you know, this is pretty simple. This controller on the other hand, this is where the magic starts to happen. I'm kind of, okay, this is what I was excited about. I really should probably look at this stuff, but I'm not even gonna, cool. Would you look at that? I like a nice GUI. Nice graphic user interface. Adopting provisioning. So I don't know. I'm going to try to log in anyway. Ooh, yeah, it took control. There we go. Controller is now a control. Imagine that. But it is definitely expecting the switches, the access points, probably more clients, etc. Got all this other stuff going on. Uh, and then once I get more stuff going on, maybe, just maybe, it'll give me some cool stuff. Okay, editing Jason here. It's been multiple days later. A lot going in on in my life. Uh, I was getting, I was getting bored editing through some of that footage. So here's the thing. I, I went through, explored, like 
looked at stuff, basically. I was like, oh, that's what this is. Oh, this is, and it was super boring. And I was bouncing back and forth. And then I was, you know, figuring things out as I went. I essentially spent like a good hour recording and then recording my reaction to it, which is boring as hell. So I chopped that hell out of that thing. It might jump around a little bit, but it's because even editing Jason, I was bored of shooting Jason. So that's where I, that's where I just, uh, yeah. Getting this set up just felt like such a tease because I mean, that's good. That's what I wanted. I wanted to get the ball rolling, but that did lead directly into adding the actual controller uh, because the controller gives you the fancy interface. This is just like more raw dog, like text, whatever, nothing too fancy. This is what gives you the interface. And then ultimately you want to add a Wi-Fi access point. So this particular one is just going to be a wall plate. So I got some other stuff too, but um, oh, here's a photo. This is what I needed though. I know this turned out more of a tease than anything, but trust me, it's more of a tease to me than it is to you because now I got this set up and it's like, oh my God, I want to set up more, but I can't. I'm out of time. For anyone who has experience with these, if you guys have any tips or tricks or anything you want, think I should know before I kind of get into setting things up, any, uh, you know, insights, whatever, just let me know. Uh, down in the cup. This is going to be a test that's going to take a while because I want to get everything set up, see what the interface is like. I want to test just how like different or easier it is to do certain things between Unify, you know, see if there's things missing that, you know, between the each. So, you know, there's got a, there's a little bit of playing around going on. So, Hey, if you have anything that you want to throw in any opinion, any, any idea, whatever, feel free to let me know until next time. There you go.